my lovelies, how are you all? It's been such a long time, but here we are because I have just moved to another little house. So I have this most cutest little kitchen ever. It's tiny and it's just fine, fine, really. So today we are going to make chili con carne. Even though it's really hot here in Cyprus, we're still going to make it because it's good for you. It releases out all the toxins. So this is what we need. Of course, we need our kidney beans. OK, so this has been this was soaking overnight. You need to soak kidney beans for at least five hours and you have to cook them really well. So they're nice and soft, right? Um, because it has lectin in, um, it's no, it can become toxic if you don't cook them well. So make sure that your kidney beans are soft, soft when you eat them. So you, you will boil that for, for a long time until it's soft, okay? So kidney beans is a very good source of protein for vegans, for anyone. Um, it's very rich in minerals, vitamins, and fiber and antioxidants. It's very good for weight loss and it promotes a um, uh, good uh, colon. It's very good for your colon, for the intestines. And it helps to regulate sugar levels. So. We're going to use that. As you can see at the moment, I'm using nice fresh tomatoes. Um, I don't like to use canned tomatoes. I've got cooking. I sliced up some onions into these tiny little pieces, some red pepper. And here now we're going to add in um, chili and the garlic. So let's go and do that. I shall take you over here. You see, yes, you can see that. So this is just been on a very um, low heat because I want the onions to caramelize. So I'm now just adding in my chopped up chili and my garlic, and it smells lovely. And all I added was salt in here for now. And then we'll talk now about what other spices we're going to use. So just give that a good mix and just leave it to caramelize, lovely. Okay, so, so into that, we're going to use our fresh tomatoes. And so I'm just using the grater, I don't have any chopping material, and I'll just be doing that to all my tomatoes. And I use about, I don't know, depending how big your tomatoes are, but I'm going to use about six or seven small ones. And it comes to this lovely, let me show you, like soupy. Can you see that? I hope you can see that. <laughs> so, so we're going to use the tomatoes. The other thing we're going to use is uh, the spices. So I use Himalayan salt, we're going to use pepper. And the main, the main uh, spice that we use in uh, um, chili con carne is uh, paprika. So that's sweet paprika. And I'm also going to add in cayenne pepper. You can add other kinds of spices if you like, but these are the main ones that we use for chili con carne. So, uh, and to all of this, there is one secret ingredient which has been told to me lately. And so I will show you in just a little bit. Just going to finish my tomatoes and I'll be back. Okay, and and to my um, grated tomatoes, I'm just going to add a few of these cherry tomatoes. So it's nice to have a mixture of different types of tomatoes. It just adds in a, a richer flavour. So as it is, I just cut it up into two pieces and that will go into my tomatoes. Now, for your tomatoes, because of the acid, you have to put in a little bit of sugar. Okay, you don't have to, but it just takes out the acid out so it's not bitter. If you don't want to use any sugar, definitely not white sugar, you can use some brown sugar, but if you don't want to use any of that, then of course you can add. You can just add some maple syrup, okay? So... That's just going to go into there, and it does give it a really nice, rich taste. And where is my? And just give that a little mix. Lovely. Okay. So 
So that's our tomatoes. Now what I will have this with, you can either have it with rice of course, but what I found really delicious with this uh, meal is just to bake a uh, sweet potato, which is so much more healthier. Slice it after it's all softened up and just put your chili con carne on top. So that's a really, really nice combination. So let's go ahead and, and mix the rest of our ingredients. Okay, so as you can see, this is all ready now. It's cooked well. Okay. And we are going to add in now our spices. What I did forget to use. Okay, so we're also going to add some black pepper. And we're going to add in some Himalayan salt, just a little bit more. And then I'm going to use about because you don't want to over make it with your chili you've got to see how much you can take so I'm going to use just a little bit more than a half a teaspoon but not a whole teaspoon and then and then I can add in more if I want it more chili so just let that cook for a little bit and to that I'm going to add in my main spice <coughs> excuse me which is sweet paprika and I'm going to use about two teaspoons of that like so can you see that and you don't want to overcook the spice but you do want to cook it just for a little bit just so that the flavor can be better and now I'm going to add in my tomatoes Okay. This really smells good. Just gently mix it all together and then I just put it on an even lower heat now because I just want that to slowly cook through everything together so all the flavours can blend in. Yeah. And now I shall add my kidney beans, which are already cooked. Lovely, and just give that all a good mix. And that basically is how you do it. And so my secret ingredient, which was told to me recently by a chef and it really is um it just does enrich flavor it's black chocolate so just add in i'm just going to add in three pieces of black chocolate to my chili con carne sauce there you go ah and i forgot hold on just to add in a little bit more flavor i found this in the shop it's just a a taco spice mix it just has it probably has got paprika in as well but just to add in just a little bit more just sprinkle a little bit of that too so that 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 probably has a bit of cumin paprika just a little bit you can add in whatever spices you prefer I mean there's no rules the rules for chili con carne are the kidney beans and the tomato <laughs> So that's going to be cooking for, I'm going to do that for about at least 40 minutes, just slowly cooking. You'll be able to tell when it's ready as it will soak in a lot of the juices and that's it. And that is how you make a vegan chili con carne. I do not use any soya mints. You can do that if you like, um, or any other kind of vegan replacement mince meat but I don't like that I just I really like it with the onions the red peppers the garlic the chili um, it's enough you don't really need to have any kind of mince meat the tomato sauce is enough but it's up to you so my lovelies that is it <laughs> um, I'll take a picture of the end result and uh, I will see you soon because I have a lot of uh, different recipes that I've been doing 
over this period that I've not been making videos and I'd like to share that with you. And yeah, so um, have a lovely day, have a lovely week, and lots of agave to you all. Bye!